Hello and welcome to this video demo of the Cranial Nerves module in Axiom Neuro, one of three modules in the software. As you'd expect, Axiom Neuro covers all 12 cranial nerves, but the focus is on the clinical and functional aspects of the nerves rather than the basic anatomy. Now obviously every cranial nerve is different, so we can't give you a generic tutorial on how the module works like we can with the tracks or virtual patient modules, so instead we'll just take a quick look at a couple of the nerves to give you an idea of what to expect. Let's start with cranial nerves 3, 4, and 6, which we've grouped all together here. When you first open this page, you get a movie of our virtual patient having his eye movements checked, along with an animated diagram of the muscles controlled by the three cranial nerves. Our patient is healthy right now, so all the muscles are working normally. If you'd like to get a closer look at the normal function of each muscle, just click on the Show Muscles Only button, and that opens a movie focusing on the muscles themselves. Going back to the main screen now, as you can see over here on the left side, we've got three levels of brainstem, each one corresponding to a different nucleus. Now clicking on the nucleus or nerve on each level causes a different deficit, one that you can then see over here in the animation window. So for example, clicking the left oculomotor nerve gives our virtual patient the appropriate symptoms. Now let's take a look at cranial nerve 7. Here you can see a little more complicated setup but it follows the same basic structure as cranial nerves 3, 4, and 6. Namely, you start with a healthy patient, and then clicking on various nerves and or nuclei causes different deficits and their corresponding symptoms. This is the basic structure for all the cranial nerve pages. You find a black box or a nucleus, and try clicking on it to see the resulting effects. If you're not sure if you can click on a particular structure or not, you just take a look at the cursor. Here you can see any part that is interactive will change the cursor from an arrow to a hand. So, for cranial nerve 7, we've got several different potential deficits to cause. Over here on the left, you can see a simple map of the forebrain and the caudal pons. Clicking on any of these black boxes will cause either an upper motor neuron or a lower motor neuron lesion, depending on where you click. And you can immediately see the corresponding symptoms in our virtual patient. Same thing here in the middle panel, except here you're lesioning nerves actually in the face instead of farther up in the brain or the brainstem. That's about it for the Cranial Nerves module. Be sure to check out the other video intros we've got on the site, or just go ahead and download the Axiom Neuro free demo version that's available. Thanks for watching.